Greetings, friends from Web AI 2025. Today, I'm thrilled to be here to announce XR Blocks, a Web AI plus Web XR SDK to accelerate AI plus XR innovation. My name is Ruo Feidu. I serve as the interactive perception and the graphics lead at Google XR. You can find my profile in Google Research, Google Scholar, and follow me at x.com. My research mainly lies in the intersection of three fields, human-computer interaction, perception, and graphics, where I strive to fuse information from both the physical world and the virtual worlds, and making them more interactive, accessible, and useful. My talk today is about a brand new open source framework, xrblocks.js. xrblocks is a one-year project contributed by over 20 Googlers and mostly part-time from Google XR Labs. And let's watch a short video first. We present XR Blocks, an open source framework designed to accelerate human-centered AI plus XR innovation. XR Blocks offers a high-level abstraction of AI-driven XR paradigms on both desktop and Android XR platforms, including XR Realism, with features like depth-aware physics, geometry-aware occlusion, and lighting estimation. XR Interaction, enabling custom gestures with on-device machine learning integration, touching and grabbing of physical objects, AI plus XR Integration, allowing for the creation of XR Poet, object understanding, and proactive conversational agents. We envision that XR Blocks will help amplify prototyping efforts, empowering XR and AI creators to unleash their inner creativity. <laughs> no worries. Today, we are at a time when AI and XR are really converging to unlock a new paradigm of computing. From immersive headsets like Android XR headsets to helpful everyday AI glasses like the Project Astra we announced earlier this year and last year. However, there's still a large gap between the two ecosystems of the two fields, AI and XR. Where AI research and development is accelerated by mature frameworks like JAX, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and benchmarks like uh, Hugging Face, LM Arena, XR often requires practitioners, creators, and developers to manually integrate the disparate, low-level systems for perception, rendering, and interaction, and also upgrading your Unity versions again and again and again <laughs> over the years. Six years ago, we presented an uh, AR core depth lab on mobile phone using Unity. But it is non-trivial to migrate to, migrate to XR due to the fragmented nature of the Unity ecosystem and also the different headset APIs and the difference between mobile phone AR and headset XR. And a lot of AR interfaces were developed on mobile phone over my past years, but it's very hard to migrate to XR, and we really want to change that today. Last year, we presented Vero Blocks on Web AI Summit 2024 as an open source framework to lower the barrier for development of machine learning multimedia applications with a no code node graph editor. You can scan the QR code and try out the system today. And everyone, you can just drag and drop different modules of camera input, uh, Gemini nodes, and uh, uh, on device media pipe models to create a new AI pipeline. And later, we also showcased the Instruct Pipe uh, research prototype, which won the Honorable Mention Award in CHI 2024, uh, 2025. And uh, this empowers creators to quickly author an on-device AI pipeline by a single prompt. For example, I say I want to tr quickly try out a uh, virtual try-on with a sunglass from Google Search. It can create a visual pipeline like this. And we, but we, what we found with all these projects is XR is not yet as scalable as AI on device, on the web. It is usually fragmented with varied platforms, programming languages, and interaction paradigms. So we wonder, how can we make AI plus XR research and innovation more accessible and scalable? And today's XR research is oftentimes a one-time thing, and you make the prototype, you do the user study, 
but nobody really reuse it again, and the wheels are always being reinvented over the past few years. So how can we kick off the flywheel from AI to XR? Or how can we make XR really easy and fast to allow innovators to focus on the really core cool part rather than the low-level integration? The easy and fast assumption uh, in traditional web coding is technically false in XR today because there's basically no existing ecosystem to even author a quickly 3D model and allow people to drag around and interact with it. And, but our goal is to deliver a great set of tools for XR plus AI use case on the web. To start the journey, we tried a lot of languages and toolkits to do one simple thing. Using the pinch and the click and the touch gesture on mobile phone or headsets on laptops to change the color of a cube. But astonishingly, at the minimum coding requirement is easily over 200 lines of code. And even with Unity, it's already very simple, but you still have to install uh, some manual packages to adapt to uh, MetaQuest, Apple Vision Pro, and Android XR headsets to make it work. And it takes more than triple the coding time than the compiling time, uh, actually, to really deploy it on device. And the minimum still requires like, uh, too many coding time. But here, today, with XR blocks, we strive to use the minimum code to make XR perceptive experiences really simple. For example, here, only 39 lines of code. You can create a cube and uh, use pinch, uh, mouse click, or touch on mobile phone to change the color. And you start with a very simple import in JavaScript, and we work closely with 3GS and also with Ricardo. And uh, then you can write a simple script uh, here, it's only like uh, even less than 30 lines. It's only like uh, maybe 15 lines. You can uh, create a main logic to render a cube, and, uh, um, and when updating, it will rotate and change its uh, direction in XR. And you can try the same code on desktop, mobile phone, and Android XR headset. And today, you can check out all our samples at our website, uh, xrblocks.github.io. And uh, we provide a variety of templates and samples for both human and AR creators to learn from our best practices. And inspired by the existing game engines like Unity, uh, we would like creators to really focus on the core idea of an XR application, the script. And whenever a creator wants to call user, call the world, or summon an interface, and even an agent in the future, or build communication between the uh, agents and the peer user, this should be ready to go. And note that uh, today we are only halfway uh, toward this roadmap, and uh, we welcome to leverage the community contribution to complete the missing puzzles. For example, here's an idealized uh, minimized syntax in XR blocks, and all the perception low level details should be hidden and creators should really, really focus on the core logic of the invention, just to create a poem from the external camera. To start with, uh, we chose WebXR and 3.js uh, and Gemini as an example uh, building blocks for our framework. Yet I do believe uh, with more contributors, uh, we can extend our vision to native C++ with OpenXR and Unity. And our vision is to build the set of interactive primitives for web coding for XR. And today, uh, many of our Web AI Summit attendees already tried our demo, and one of the most amazing demo I see today is like create a Brazilian soccer player, and uh, Gemini cameras can actually create uh, the 3D uh, Gemini player, and you can pinch and uh, drag it around. <laughs> our North Star is to turn ideas into reality, like pitched in this diagram, and uh, so that AI can really help creators to execute, create at the speed of thought to maximize human creativity. And to achieve this vision, we implemented the, uh, this uh, set of uh, tools uh, using these low-level subsystems within the SDK, including AI, module, camera, depth, lighting estimation, physics, sound, input, agent UX, effect UI, and most importantly, the simulator. Because back in days, it's very uh, like troublesome to deploy in XR. Oftentimes, you code something, only by putting the XR headset can you see how your demo works in the reality. But here, 
we provide you a simulator that can simulate depth map, lighting estimation, and uh, hand gestures. So you can see whether your uh, thumbs up gesture really works using lightrt.js. And uh, the same code should naturally work in Android XR headsets. Here show some examples. Uh, we provide you a model viewer that allows developers to quickly wrap a geometry primitive, a 3D model, and even a 3D Gaussian splatting instance uh, with a model viewer so you can pinch and drag around in XR. And we provide a set of spatial UI library with fine distance function libraries to render high quality text and basic composable APIs to do uh, generative user interfaces. And empowered by lightrt.js, uh, talked about uh, Matthew earlier, and we have close collaboration as first party uh, users. We allow creators to simulate hand gestures, thumbs up, victory sign, to run machine learning models on device. So no gesture data goes to the server, and you have the full privacy on Android XR headset. You can also experience spatial audio and geometry aware weather effects and see the ring drops on your hands. We'll show you a real world demo later. And the, empowered by Gemini, you can recognize all the objects around you. And when you reach out your hands to the objects, you can ask Gemini questions. For example, uh, where can I buy this coffee table? <laughs> and here uh, shows the real time demos on an Android XR headset, which is going to be released later this year. Uh, featuring XR realism with depth sensing on the web. You can just pinch to shoot uh, balls, colorful balls around your environment, and we use on device depth sensing uh, algorithms, and you can see the ring drops dropping on your hands. And this is using lightrt.js. You can do thumbs up to summon balloons and use victory to summon the colorful strips. And you can use the dynamic swipe gesture to go to the next photo <laughs> when you are using a future photos app. And there are more AI plus XR use cases. For example, you can generate a poem uh, like uh, with the video see-through camera and uh, recognize the object around you and ask Gemini, what's the calorie of the fruits? <laughs> and finally, we envision a growing set of interaction primitives in the toolkit to unify the basic interactions. For example, uh, the hand pinch, uh, the mouth click, and the uh, screen touch should be unified at select. And uh, we, we also provide some samples so that you can grab and touch objects. And we hope to leverage the community contribution to finalize uh, this roadmap and the interaction paradigms. Uh, the directional details are illustrated in our archive paper. Uh, feel free to check it out, uh, XR blocks on archive. Yeah. And uh, we hope with a growing community of innovators, we can make AI really situated in XR turning ideas into reality, and allow everyone to unleash their inner creativity. To give you some inspirations, here are some examples from our amazing UX engineers and designers, starting with the art gallery. Uh, it's purely uh, done with XR blocks and the no code environment in Gemini Canvas. Uh, just prompt like uh, create an infinite gallery, and by keep iterating and prompting Gemini Canvas, you can uh, click on each art piece and uh, go to the next art by selecting the keywords in uh, both uh, laptop and Android XR headsets. You can build a procedural city by clicking and pinching on the virtual map. And uh, this bubble XR is built by me. I, ju I just summoned the bubbles and uh, used my hand touch to uh, dismiss all the bubbles <laughs> using our XR Blocks SDK. Uh, you can check out our demo station and uh, we have uh, the live working demo of this. Finally, I would like to deeply thank all my XR blog contributors across Google over the past year. And uh, thank you everyone for listening, watching, and contributing. Thank you.